We all know that prompt engineering has exploded in the last year, and whether it's here to stay or not, that's more of a question of the future. But what's important now is to get on top of these skills and learn how to actually write prompts. But this isn't just guesswork. In fact, in a paper by Vanderbilt University titled A Prompt Pattern Catalog to Enhance Prompt Engineering with ChatGPT, researchers and scholars deep in the field of AI and LLMs wrote out a comprehensive overview of various prompt patterns that can be used to enhance interaction with conversational large language models like ChatGPT. So as mentioned earlier, the importance of knowing these prompt patterns is to equip you with the ability to enhance the effectiveness and efficiency of your interactions with tools like ChatGPT. So in this video, I'll go through 11 prompt patterns for advanced ChatGPT skills as noted from researchers. But before I dive deep into these patterns, don't forget to like the video so you can level yourself up and subscribe to this channel if you want to continue to learn the building blocks for this age of AI. So the following prompt patterns that are to be mentioned can be categorized into six individual categories. So it gives you an idea of their particular use. There is input semantics, output customization, error identification, prompt improvement, interaction, and context control. So these are the key categories for these different prompts. The first prompt pattern on this list, meta language creation, is a pattern that helps to communicate more efficiently with the LLM by creating a set of terms beforehand. Since writing prompts involves being clear with what you want, sometimes standard language may be insufficient to describe complex instructions that you may need. In fact, just because we know how to speak doesn't necessarily mean we speak well. All you really need here is a set of terms or codes that are relevant to your input. Think of it as creating like an index. It's like building up your own glossary into the prompt so that instead of having to use that specific word, you can refer to a specific term for the AI to refer to. An example prompt to this could be moving forward, A1 will refer to our primary audience segment and B2 will refer to our secondary design theme. The next pattern is Output Automator. This pattern is all about generating scripts within the AI to automate specific tasks. This is a great way to reduce the manual effort to write out everything step by step and is a great way to save time. All you really need here is to feed the LLM a detailed step by step process or instruction on what it needs to create. So an example prompt could be create a workflow script for scheduling and publishing our weekly social media content. Provide each date in which the content will be published and at what time is best. Make sure to put all information into a table. So in this case, the fact that I'm asking you to create a workflow script as well as putting in information into a table is controlling the way that it's putting the output. The next pattern is the persona pattern. LLMs like ChatGPT don't need to solely be one way. Remember, these are tools to have a conversation with, not just instructional order. This means you can assign it a specific type of persona to influence the type of output it will generate. This pattern is useful when outputs need to be tailored to specific viewpoints or expertise. It's also very handy when you want to tailor the communication style or content to fit a specific role or character. So for example, an example prompt could be act as a fitness coach and provide workout advice tailored for beginners. The next pattern on this list is visualization generator. This is when you want to get the text to describe something visually. It is useful for people who want to find the right words that can help in generating visual formats. It's made particularly useful for developers or marketers that are speaking with designers on a frequent basis. The prompt pattern assists in the initial stages of design by providing descriptive visual ideas. For example, describe a minimalist and eco-friendly packaging design for our organic skincare product be as descriptive and clear as possible, so it's easy for anyone to understand. One way to take this further, if you have ChatGPT+, is to simply ask it to generate an image of an item, which will then pull from DALI 3 to generate a visualization itself. So an example could be based on the description you provided about the packaging design for an organic skincare product, generate an image that fits the description to give me some ideas. The next pattern is then called recipe pattern. This next pattern is great for providing step-by-step -step guidelines that can help the reader follow through. Think of it as a way to generate a walkthrough response or any other procedural task. All you need here is to ensure you're feeding in a desired outcome of a given task. So an example could be, give me a recipe for conducting a successful focus group for our new product line. The 
And then there's the template pattern. This is a pattern that is a structured approach that utilizes predefined formats for generating responses or content. This can be particularly useful in situations where consistency, standardization, and adherence to specific formats are crucial, especially in an organization. This is especially important, as I mentioned, in professional settings, where you need to have consistency in communication or documentation. An example could be, first provide a template for a press release announcing a new product launch, then create a product FAQ based on our template, addressing common queries about our latest product launch. And then there's fact checklist. This prompt pattern focuses on identifying assertions or claims within a generated output that require verification. We all know that LLMs aren't perfect. So this pattern is super valuable in ensuring the accuracy and reliability of information, which is particularly crucial in professional and academic contexts. You do this by instructing the LLM to follow up its responses with a list of claims or statements that are either central to the response or could be contentious or perhaps uncertain. This pattern is not about the LLM fact checking the content itself, but rather about identifying parts of its output that the user or yourself should, be, should verify independently. So this pattern can significantly help in mitigating the spread of misinformation and ensuring that AI tools like ChatGPT are used in a more informed manner. An example prompt could be provide a list of key data points in our market analysis report that should be verified for accuracy and current relevance. Then the next is the reflection pattern. This pattern is aimed to get the LLM to evaluate and comment on its own responses. It's a way to provide insights into why a response came out a certain way, what factors it considered, and how it interpreted the prompt. Essentially, it's getting to understand the reasoning behind the output. You might prompt it to explain the rationale behind its conclusions, the sources of information it relied upon, or to discuss possible uncertainties in its response. So an example prompt could be explain the reasoning behind your color and layout choices for the website redesign aimed at increasing user engagement. Take note of the words explain the reasoning. Then there's the question refinement pattern. This next pattern is particularly effective in refining and clarifying any questions you send over to the LLM ensuring that your responses are more targeted and relevant. Essentially, the purpose is to enhance the specificity and clarity of questions asked by the user itself. So this pattern instructs the LLM to kind of suggest improved versions of the user's original questions, leading to a more accurate and useful answers. You first provide a broad or initial question, and then you instruct the model to refine or rephrase this question in a way that would likely yield more detailed or comprehensive answers. So an example could be, how can I make my website better? Refine this question to focus specifically on improving user design for increased user engagement. So take note of the words refine this question because you're asking it to really shift the way that you're asking the question itself. And then there's alternative approaches pattern. This prompt pattern is particularly for exploring various methods or strategies to address a specific problem or a task. So this pattern broadens the scope of responses, providing multiple perspectives. This approach is really great for helping avoid cognitive biases by not fixating on a single solution. It's really beneficial when the first or most obvious solution is not really the best, or you don't really know if it is the best. So what you do is present a task or problem to the LLM and explicitly ask it to generate multiple different approaches or solutions. So an example prompt could be provide alternative strategies for the promotion of our new eco-friendly product online, including potential reach and customer engagement strategies. So take note here, provide alternative, a, etc, etc. And then there's a refusal breaker pattern. The, the main goal of this refusal breaker pattern is to rephrase a query that you put, gave to the LLM. And just in case it doesn't really want to answer you because it breaks ethical guidelines or the model's capabilities, sometimes you need to kind of reword the statement or reword the input so that it can kind of give you the output in the right way. So this usually involves asking how to change the phrasing, providing additional context or shifting the focus of the query. So for example, let's say ChatGPT refuses to provide you an output due to the ethical guidelines. You can give an example prompt like, give me some alternative ways to ask the question without breaking guidelines. What are some general best practices in creating a business strategy that focuses on innovation and market research? So take note, give me some alternative ways to ask the question, right? So perhaps your input was not 
fitting the guidelines, so you need to ask it to to give you the direction of how you can reword it. And then there's a flipped interaction pattern. As the name implies, this pattern reverses the standard dynamic of user model interaction, where instead of the user primarily asking questions, the LLM takes more of a proactive role in driving the conversation. So this is where ChatGPT will ask you a series of questions to gather information, clarify needs, and it's particularly effective when you might not have all the necessary information or clarity about what needs to be asked. So all you need to do is prompt the LLM to initiate a series of questions based on a given topic. You respond to these questions, providing it more information, and then it needs to generate more targeted outputs. So an example prompt could be, ask me a series of questions to help identify key trends in consumer behavior for eco-friendly products. So take note here, ask me a series of questions. So now the LLM or ChatGPT in this case, knows to ask you the question and then you will do the answering, which will then feed it more information. And then there's the gameplay pattern. This pattern transforms dialogue into more of like a game-like format. So the central aim of this pattern is to gamify the interaction, making it more of a back and forth, like a quiz or a problem solving activity. This can be particularly useful for students who want to leverage ChatGPT to learn more about a specific subject. So an example prompt could be create a quiz game about basic marketing principles, providing feedback and explanations after each answer. So take note here, create a quiz. Right, and then the words providing feedback and explanations after each answer. So that way you're actually learning rather than just instructing it to do something. And then there's the infinite generation pattern. This prompt is designed to create a continuous stream of content or responses. So this pattern is really useful in scenarios where you want an ongoing generation of ideas and information despite the different prompts you're giving it. You initially set up a context or theme and then prompt the LLM to keep generating content related to that theme, making sure that the LLM continues to build upon the initial input. An example prompt could be, each time new information is fed to you, keep generating unique social media posts ideas for our eco-friendly product line, focusing on a different product feature each time. So take note here the words, each time new information is fed to you, keep generating. Right. So these words will tell the LLM, okay, I need to keep generating ideas about something about a specific thing each time I put out a new answer. And then the last prompt is called the context manager prompt. So this is all about defining, maintaining and manipulating the context of conversation. This pattern is really valuable in scenarios where the continuity of context plays a significant role in the relevance of the response. So this is to ensure that ChatGPT or the LLM recognizes and retains the context throughout an interaction from the background of the topic, preferences, or any relevant information. After all, you don't want to be conversing with an LLM that is always forgetting previous context. The whole point is to remember previous context so that it can build upon that. So you need to explicitly state the context at the beginning or during the conversation and instruct the LLM to keep that context in mind in its responses. So an example prompt could be, in the context of targeting millennial demographic, suggest marketing strategies. Keep this focus throughout our conversation, adjusting your suggestions as I provide more details about their preferences. So take note here, in the context of, and then you put in the context, and then, uh, and then thereafter you write, keep this focus throughout our conversation. So you need to really make sure that the ChatGPT or LLM is aware that it needs to remember this context for the rest of the conversation. So there you have it, 11 prompt patterns that help you advance yourself and your knowledge on using ChatGPT or perhaps other LLMs. All of these are quite useful as it helps improve efficiency of the output, but also it helps you learn in a more interactive and understandable way as well. You can also use these prompts mentioned to improve the accuracy, precision, and just contextual understanding. Remember, ChatGPT is not an instructional tool, it is a conversational tool. But if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, and I'd really love it if you could subscribe to this channel if you want more content on tools, tips, and tricks that help you navigate this new digital ocean of AI.